Hey, lightweights, welcome back to some more of Batman, the animated series. Uh, this episode, I'll be reacting to Pretty Poison, which I am excited about because I'm assuming it's going to be about Poison Ivy. Um, I don't know who else it would be about, but I don't know a ton about Poison Ivy, but I do know her character from the Arkham games, and I absolutely loved her there. Um, obviously, I'm familiar with her because who isn't, uh, but I am excited to learn a little bit more about her lore because I don't know really anything about her backstory outside of what was given to me in the games. Uh, so definitely excited for this um, and excited to learn more about her because I just, I love her visually, aesthetically, <laughs> um, and I really loved her story and the the encounters we had with her in the Arkham games. So uh, if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button when you do, so that you know when I post future react reaction videos. <laughs> and here we go. Pretty Poison. Future site of the new Gotham Penitentiary. The new Gotham Penitentiary, which has been funded. Gotham's new district attorney, Harvey Dent. I wonder when Harvey Dent turns into Two-Face. Ground breaks on Dent's dream. So is that going to be some type of rare flower that they didn't know was rare, endangered maybe? A better, safer Gotham five years later. <laughs> I don't know about safer. Go, go, go! Like the helicopter design. We've got a prison break by air. You gotta have the police donut stereotype somewhere. <laughs> We're home free. What was that mustache? Whoa, what was that? Just some turbulence. Just some turbulence, he says. Rose Cafe. Ooh, it seems swanky. <gasps> Bruce, you probably got hung up on business. <laughs> Pun intended. Bruce runs around with a high class crowd. <laughs> More puns! But he still manages to get his kicks. <laughs> There's nothing we don't know about each other. Mm. I'm your worst nightmare. I'll be Quick change. This evening, as I anticipated, sir. Is his voice? Why does his voice sound different? You should have seen Harvey's face. I don't think I'll ever get used to the difference in personality. So she's clearly up to no good there because I know Pamela Isley is poison ivy. Pamela? My broker and his recommendation was that, ooh. <laughs> and I already know she's the one. The one to kill ya. <laughs> okay, so that's the toxin on the lipstick, right? I know that's her thing. Wait, does she own that restaurant? We need a pulse here. I mean, I'd say a pulse is important. <laughs> this is garden. What? What, no donut? <laughs> Priorities. Why was the blood pressure cuff on his forearm? Doesn't it go up here? Find out who did this. So I'm assuming she was dating him just to plot some sort of revenge, obviously. So what did you put in this moose? Strict nine? But I added just a pinch of vanilla. <laughs> We've isolated the toxin, Alfred. It is a lethal poison derived from the plant Rosa C.I. Volaris. I'll get a plant sample from the Gotham Botanical Gardens. Sir, the wild thorny rose has been extinct for nearly five years. There's no antidote. That was the rose. I knew it. <laughs> What's she gonna do to him? What's she gonna do to him? Harvey's lucky to have such a good friend. Wait, she didn't kiss his neck, did she? Alfred, dig up anything you can on Pamela Isley. Miss Isley is a research chemist with Chez Gerard, the cosmetics firm. I think Harvey's engagement is off. <laughs> I'm surprised she's not trying to cultivate more of them. If that's the last one in existence, you'd think she'd be trying to like repopulate the 
the species. I won't clip off any more of your beautiful petals unless I need them. So does she have like villain powers in this or is she just the chemist? Because in everything else I've seen her in, she can like control plants and I don't know, has more powers versus just brain power. Oh, shit. some dentures <laughs> call me poison ivy the blood of those flowers are on his hands flower blood <laughs> thought she's about to turn into the hulk for a second we're about to have a marvel dc crossover Afraid I have cooties? <laughs> I was going to share the antidote with you. <laughs> Hold on, Bats! Ooh, juicy. No! Murderer! Jail. Where am I? But you're going to be fine. About your engagement to Pamela Isley. <laughs> well, she tried to kill you. They can bury me in the ground as deep as they like. Kiss Maya. Who's Maya? We always grow back. How does she still look good in a freaking prison jumpsuit and look like a freaking sack of potatoes? All right, so I really enjoyed that episode. Um, Poison Ivy definitely seeming, at least at this point, to be very different than the Poison Ivy I know from the Arkham games. Um, like I said, in the games, I know for a fact, I was going to say I think, but I know for a fact that she had, um, like, superpowers. She could talk to plants, make plants grow, make, like, she had a, she had a, uh, an understanding with plants that she didn't necessarily have in this. Um, she seemed more to use her intelligence and her degree and her passion for plants. Um, obviously some of those plants seemed a, a little bit more all knowing than, than they would in, in reality, but, um, I still don't think she necessarily had power. So if you guys could let me know that, um, does she get powers later on in the series or is that just something that they changed for the games to make her a little bit more of a powerful villain? Um, let me know. As always, I like to learn from you guys because you always have so much to teach me about this series and the DC universe and Batman lore in general. So definitely curious about that. Um, but I did love her character. I really did. Um, I don't know. For some reason, I just... I... Well, probably because she's a female villain, but I just freaking find her fascinating and um, I hope there are more episodes with her in it. Uh, it's also interesting. I didn't realize that she had a fake relationship with Harvey Dent. Um, so that's kind of cool. Again, I don't know if that was just unique for this uh, to introduce her or if that's how it is in the comics as well. But I do think that's really cool because it shows you just how intelligent and conniving she is, I guess, are the words that I'm looking for. So she is willing to plan and plot and do what she needs to do. So she doesn't necessarily have to rely on the villain powers in this because she's just smart enough to get what she needs to get done done, you know, until she gets caught by Batman, obviously. But 
everyone has to get caught by Batman eventually. Um, so I'll be curious to see. I feel like that's not obviously the end of her in this show, but I'll be curious to see um, what she's like when she comes back, how she comes back, how she escapes, that sort of thing. So definitely really enjoyed this episode. I loved all of the puns. I liked that we got to see more about Harvey Dent. Uh, and as I said in the episode reaction, I wonder when he turns into Two-Face uh, because I'm almost positive Harvey Dent is Two-Face, although now I'm... No, I know because in that one episode I watched Who's Slipping the Coin, so I know that is him. Um, so curious to see when that happens um, and how that happens. I think in the game it had something to do with fire because when we were, which game was it? Arkham City, I think. Um, the one building that was like his main hideout building, half of it was burned down and half of it wasn't. So I think it was a fire, but I'll be curious to see when his character changes from Harvey Dent into Two-Face um, and if we have any more interactions with him before that point, because it's always cool when you get to see a character before their villain era. Um, and it's interesting that him and Bruce are close friends. I didn't realize that. Uh, I don't know if that was the case in the games as well, but I never knew that they were friends. So that's really cool and adds an interesting wrinkle for when he does turn into his villainous self. So a lot to look forward to. Um, and I don't know. I just really enjoyed this episode and I hope you enjoyed the reaction. If you did, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post the next one. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope you have an amazing day.